Welcome back to another episode of the PSG Challenge Career Mode. Now, there was something that went wrong in the last episode, so a massive thank you to everyone who pointed it out. When I go on a losing streak, I'm meant to add a challenge on top of the other challenges. It's meant to get worse and worse, and I forgot to do that. So, um, as a, a punishment, I guess you could call it, against Barcelona here, this is our away game that we've got, I'm going to do two challenges instead of one, even though I won my last game. Um, now, I did start recording about 10 minutes ago. I was on mute. I'm an absolute idiot. I finished my stream last night and I always mute my mic, put some music on to finish it, and I forgot to unmute it. So we did do two games, um, which were both simulated. One was the French League Cup, which of course we're not playing because we want to get the season over with not too long because I want to get back to the Wolves career mode. And no one cares about the French League Cup when it's a challenge career mode about the league and the Champions League. So we actually lost that 1-1-0, which is shocking. We then had a home fixture against Nice. Of course, that's a simulated game as well. And we got a 2-0 win. So now we're at that massive Barcelona game. And I'm going to be doing two challenges instead of one as a punishment. And in the future, if I lose a game, it's one challenge. Then if I lose another game on top of that... No, sorry. If I lose a game, it's two challenges... If I lose another one after that, it's three. If I lose again, it's four. Basically, a losing streak is just not a good idea. But let's go ahead and bring up the Wheel of Arsenal because it's always disappointing. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. What's it going to be? Drop five-star players. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Dropping five of my best players against Barcelona. And the second challenge is going to be... You are kidding me. Begin the match 3-0 down. Thanks, Victor. What a great idea. <laughs> There's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to do this. No way. 3-0 down. So, of course, I need to score three own goals at the start of the game. And I've got to drop five of my best players. Wish me luck. And, of course, to make things even worse, Koscielny's injured. Kazawa's injured. It's, it's pretty ridiculous, this, isn't it? So, we're going to take Cavani off. He's a star player, I guess. And Gamero will come in instead. Neymar will be dropped. He's definitely one of my five-star players, that's for sure. Draxler will come on. Mbappe is going to be dropped. And we will bring Di Maria on. Uh, we're going to take out Verratti and bring in Nzonzi. And I guess it's De Bruyne as the other one. That's, that's probably fair enough, isn't it? And we are going to bring in either Pastore or Lo Celso, maybe. I think I'm going to go with Pastore. I haven't really used him too much. So... To be fair, it's not as bad as I was expecting. I've taken out the most, I, I guess my best players. It's, it's pretty much my best players. And we have to start 3-0 down. I, I've got no hope. I really don't have any hope in the world of winning this game. I can't even get the ball off them to score a known goal. I mean, <laughs> they've got a corner within three minutes. I was hoping I would get a kickoff, um, but unfortunately not. So it's going to take me a little bit of time here to potentially get the ball back. Nope, we've got it. So now we need to just score three own goals. I love how they're going to celebrate that. Oh, well done, Rakitic. Great goal. Ariola's going to get credit for all of these because he is the best finisher on the pitch. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, mate. That was nothing to do with you. And now for the third goal. And we've only wasted just under 10 minutes. So it's not too bad, but it's it's three goals against possibly the best team in the game. All right. Oh, go on, Gamero. Go on, son. Hang on. No way. Come on. Finish it. Finish it. No. No! Oh my god, if I scored that... Oh, go on, Rabiot, go on, go on. Oh, I've got him, I've got him, go on! You're kidding me. This is not fair! Oh, you're kidding me. They're straight in here, and it's four. My god, what am I doing with my life recording this series? This is ridiculously hard. Go on, Draxler. Nice fake shot inside. Hit it. Oh! Oh, okay. We've got a goal back. That was actually very nice from Draxler. Fake shot inside and I decided to go near post and that's that's a good finish. I'm happy with that. Come on, one more before half time. Put it over the top. Go on, please, please. Oh, he's in, but that's going to be a foul, surely. Right, we've got the free kick. It's in the back of the net. Give me a goal. Please glitch out and give me the goal. Right, it's Draxler. I'm going to pass this one short, I think. And see if I can just maybe get inside the box. Oh, over the top. <gasps> please finish it. No, to Stegen, you... Idiot! And that's going to be half time, isn't it? Please blow the whistle. Oh my god. Okay, well. Technically, I've, I've got a bit more of a chance now that I've scored. 
Here is Busquets on the left wing. I don't know what he's doing there. Oh, I've missed the tackle. Come on. Yes, Kimpempe. Right, now we break. It's a decent ball to Draxler. Come on. Oh, he's lost it. I think that might be it, guys. I just don't have enough time now. Over the top. Oh, that's a good ball. Finish it. Oh, Danny Alves. Come on, against your old team. XX team. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's that then. Into injury time here. Are Barcelona going to finish with a goal? I hope not, because technically it's one all at the moment. I scored three own goals, which has given them that massive lead. Oh, never mind. It's 2-1 to, uh, to Barcelona, effectively. And that means we go into our next away game with three challenges for the first time in this series. It's just going to get harder. So here's our next fixture. Away to Angers SCO. Not sure how to pronounce that, to be fair. So let's go ahead and bring up the wall. The wall? The wheel of Arsenal once again. I should probably give it a better name than wheel of Arsenal, but it's kind of funny. And we're going with the back to front lineup again. Great. That means defenders up front and attackers in defence. And our second challenge is going to be out of position lineup. That could actually, I think that maybe I should do a different one because that's going to, yeah, that's going to make it a bit more difficult. Right, we'll, we'll do another second one instead of that one. It's, it, they just conflict each other, don't they? We're going to play on park the bus. Okay, and our third challenge is, what's it going to be? Score only headers. Fantastic. That's great. Pretty much the same lineup as before when we did this. I think I might switch Cavani and Gamero because Neymar, I'm a little bit nervous about him at left back. So at least Cavani is a bit more of a physical player to, to help out. Gamero and Mbappe on the right side there. Dani Alves on right wing. Marquinhos up front instead of Koscielny because he's injured, of course. And uh, Yuri will play at left wing. Midfield, one change. Lo Celso or Lo Celso coming in for uh, Rabiot, who was a little bit tired, but um, playing on Park the Bus. Scoring only headers, this is this is going to be really difficult. Right, so as you can see, we are on Park the Bus. Hopefully you can see that. I hate it so much. I really do. It just makes the team so difficult to, to push forward. And I'll, I'll just have no players in the box to score these headers. But hey, at least we don't have to start 3-0 down. That would have been terrible if I got that one again. Go on, Danny Alves. Right, this is how we're going to do it this game. Just go on the wings and cross it in and just hope oh he's volleyed it god I'm glad that didn't go in actually no if it went in I would have just scored an own goal it doesn't matter obviously but um we need headers next time use your head just do a diving header would have been fine that's a good pass nice from De Bruyne there has to be a header come on head it yes no oh my god I hope I don't think about this specific attack and regret it because it's harder than it looks just crossing it for headers. Over the top. Okay, this is the one. This is the one. Cut back. Whip it in for Danny Alves. On his head. Go on, it's another save. Go away. And he's kept it in as well, honestly. This first half has been really annoying, actually. But we're not doing too bad. At this rate, I think we will score with a header. It's, it's going to happen. Really? It's because it's Neymar. Neymar's not going to win a header there. Oh, honestly. He's got no chance. It's even come off Neymar's head, isn't it? It has. It's an own goal. Come on, someone get in the box. Gonna have to just whip it in. Head it back in. Finish it. No, don't you dare slide in like that. It needs to be a header, mate. Over the top. Okay. If I score this, maybe, just maybe. Come on. Back post. Come on. Yes. Come on. We've got 13 minutes to score another one. Okay, focus, Matt. Okay, over the top for Yuri now. You have to win that header. You have to. Yes, well done. Over the top. Oh my god, that's it. I'm not going to get any more time. I just... If I was able to just shoot like normal, maybe I could have done this. The header's killed me, man. The header's absolutely killed me. So that is now going to be four challenges in the next game. So the next game's a home one. We will go ahead and simulate that. Hopefully we don't get any nasty injuries because we do have... A Champions League game coming up in just a few days in-game. Let's see. We get a 4-0 win. Alves, Kimpembe, Neymar getting a double. Absolutely smashed it. That's the only reason we're top of the league, because of simulating the home games. But now we have Dortmund, which is a must-win if we want to progress in the Champions League. And is it an away game? Yes, it is. Of course it is. We simulated the first one against Dortmund. So four challenges. Here we go. We'll bring up the wheel of Arsenal once again. 
four challenges. Oh god, here we go. No sprinting. Okay, no sprinting whatsoever in this next game. And... Oh, a goalkeeper up front. Mmm, lovely. Next is... Back to front lineup. And then... What's it going to be this time? Change formation every 20 minutes, not 10. Oh, man, that's that's quite nasty, isn't it? So, once again, pretty much the same formation. I've gone with Trap up front. Technically, I'm not breaking the rules. It doesn't say I can't have a goalkeeper in goal. It just means I've got to have a goalkeeper up front. So, uh, Trap, he's taller. He's uh, six foot two. Ariola six foot one, I think. Wait, what? Is Ariola that tall? Okay, let's swap those guys around. I was sure Ariola was smaller than Trap. Um, but we're going with height because, again, I think I might just end up crossing it in a lot. At least... In this game, I can have my, my fullbacks pretty much playing as wingers because I won't have to be on park the bus. But we will be changing formation every 20 minutes. Oh, what was the other ones we've got to do? I've already forgotten. No sprinting. That was it. No sprinting. So I will not be allowed to sprint. How am I going to get down the wings? Basically, for this game, I'm going to be playing like this. I'm holding my finger off the trigger because otherwise it's just muscle memory, isn't it? And I'll end up sprinting, so... I'm going to try my absolute best not to sprint. Right, let's see if we can get him running. I'm not holding sprint. If it does it himself, that's not my fault, is it really? Ball over the top. He's offside, isn't he? What a finish, but it's not going to count. Okay, well, that's that's a little bit of, of confidence, a bit of hope there. It's possible, but he was offside. This is when it's horrendous. Look at this. It's so difficult to, to keep up with their wingers. And just to close down the ball, like in that situation, you'd normally just sprint at the player that's about to get the ball. Can't do that. Oh, no. Oh, what a save trap. Oh, I thought it was going out. They're going to get another cross in here. No. Oh, Gamero. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Before half time. Here's De Bruyne. Back into Ariola. Back into De Bruyne. Oh, my God, that pass. Honestly, that was as if a goalkeeper passed it. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, and there's half time. That came very quickly, so... Not too many chances for Dortmund, one or two, but um, defensively it's actually easier than I was expecting. It's just going forward. It doesn't help that I've got defenders up front and a goalkeeper actually up front, but we'll, we'll try again in this second half to get that goal. Just need a 1-0 win. I reckon I can do that. We have a corner. Whip this one in. Go on, finish it. Okay, it's out from Berkey to one goalkeeper to another. We'll try and pass that one inside. Nice. We're coming up to another formation change very soon. Come on. Down the left side. Nice. Back post. No, Wanfran. Why? Why would you do that? Honestly. Okay, Rabio Into Ariola again. Over the top for De Bruyne, maybe. Oh, you are useless. All right, time to change formation again. Completely random. 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. Okay, so Yuri on the left. As long as Ariola's up front, then I'm doing it right. So that's the way it's going to have to be. Make a run. Someone make a run. It's so much easier if you keep the ball moving because then you don't feel the effect of not sprinting so much. Try and put that one through. Make a run. Come on. Someone make a movement. Honestly. Where do I go from here? To Ariola. Over the top. Oh, go on. Please keep or leave it. Arrgh. And now we've got to change formation again for the fourth time in this game. Here we go. Uh, nope, need to go to formations, close my eyes, and it's going to be a 5-4-1, and Ariola's already up front, so this is going to be interesting. Cavani as the main centre-back in the middle, that's something good at least. Take it. Yes, Danny Alves has got it. Go, make a run. Yes, this is good. Pass it on. Ariola, I'm not going to sprint, I promise, guys. Oh, come on. Is this just impossible? It's, it's just too difficult. These challenges, I swear I've just been getting the worst combinations. Anything but a goalkeeper up front, I might have scored. Just, oh, I killed every attack. I'm not feeling confident about getting through at this point, but we are still in position to qualify. We just need, we need a win. We badly need a win. Um, the league is looking better. We, we are actually ahead by seven points there, which isn't too bad. But our next game is against Monaco. Let's see if it will be an away game or a home game. But this is going to be the end of the episode. Three games played, three games failed. Not very good at all. Don't really care about emails at this point. 
Is it going to be a away game? I hope it's a home game. Please, please be a home game. It's an away game. So in the next episode, to kick things off, it will be five challenges. I think that has to be the limit. Five is more than enough. Against Monaco, who are in fourth now. Um, so we definitely need to win that game. It's going to be really difficult. But thank you for watching, guys. Tomorrow will be an episode of Operation Arsenal. And then PSG Career Mode will return on Friday. All the best, and I will see you then.